Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. I had a double knife unboxing that I was doing. I already opened one and this is part two. So let's get into this. And this one, more peanuts. And it looks like we have a CJRB, one other knife that I wanted to check out. And oh, look at this, what do we got in here? Oh, we got some stickers, nice, nice from White Mountain Knives. I'll have to include that with the giveaway. That's really cool. Oh, and it's a nice patch too, look at that. Really cool, yeah. We'll make sure that's part of the giveaway, either this giveaway or maybe the big, you know, 3K giveaway. But that's, I love stickers for sure. So if nothing else, we'll at least do the patch, get that given away. I might keep the stickers because I have a wall of stickers and I love to have that on there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and unbox a CJRB. Now you're thinking, man, you already have a bunch of CJRBs. You're right. Matter of fact, I would have been opening this thing with my... CJRB Pyrite Limited Edition. This is the S35VN Steel. Love this knife and had this since it first came out. And I enjoy carrying this from time to time. It's still a great knife. S35VN Steel. I think it's just really versatile, nice steel. So I enjoy that. So let's see, what are we dealing with here? This is, oh, it's a J1925LBK. Yeah, everybody knows what that is, right? Yeah, it's a J1925. Of course. Very cool. All right, we're done. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's take a look and see what that is. Okay, I still like the CGRB boxes. I think they're really slick, they're nice, and love the black kind of, um, you know, accents. I think it's really nice. A little gold CGRB, I think, makes it look really nice. Oh, a nice cloth. Oh, I might be keeping that, because you know me, I like to keep cloths. Not going to deny it. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, you ask. Yes, yes. Could it be? Could it be? You're probably thinking, that looks a lot like a pyrite. Pyrite, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But wait a second. That pyrite is awfully big, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is the large pyrite button lock with a G10 scale, nice texture, which gives you some good grip. I know there was a couple of people who asked about, you know, those pyrites are a little small for me. It's hard to grip. It didn't have any texture. G10, they were hoping to see it in G10. There's G10. It's got texture. There it is. Nice steel liners. Relatively light. Let's look at that. Yeah, look at the great... I don't know if you can see that. We'll do a little light in here. Can you see the uh, cutout, the weight relief in there? That is phenomenal. So they really took a lot of steel out. That makes it a lot lighter. Deep pocket carry clip, button lock, great action. Let's see here, it's gonna be deep, deep, deep carry, which is really nice, but look at that G10. That G10 is really nice, beautiful button lock. Got the big thumbs on there. Look at, let's see, look at that dead center, which is really nice. Yep, easy to flick, just like the little one. Absolutely, let's see. And they're solid, which is nice. And let's, let's, let's see as we go into the plunge lock. How's it click then? Ready? Nice click. Nope, it's solid in there. It's not moving around, wiggling or anything like that. Let's see, left-handed? Absolutely left-handed. All day. And the button lock? Yes, all day. Right-handed? All day. I like that. I like that. And let's look at that blade thickness. So that blade thickness is relatively, it's about the same size, I would say, as the uh, the smaller pyrite. So let's, let's compare here. Handle-wise, you can see there's the handle-wise. So you've got probably, it looks like, almost a whole extra inch on the handle. You see that? And let's look at the blade. At least, well, uh, width-wise, the blade is much wider. I'm gonna say it's at least, ooh, golly, maybe 25%, maybe 30% bigger. Length-wise, we're looking at probably um, three quarters of an inch, right? So this blade right here, we're looking at just under three inches, but this blade's gonna be three and a half inches. So that's a pretty robust blade. So those 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 of you of my subscribers who have really large hands and I know you like larger knives, man, this this is up there. I mean, it's almost too big, but it works really nice for my hand. It really does. This is rounded, chamfered all the way around to G10. Uh, even this is nice and soft, the steel liners. But I gotta tell you, medium to large hands, large width wise, medium length wise, I've got plenty of room. I mean, if you have extra large, double extra large, three extra large, you've got room. And that choke up position, there's a lot of room for you to choke up with that finger. That finger troll right there, really nice. Good jumping, keeps you in place. Precision cut all day long, which is really nice. It's a beautiful drop point on this one. I'm sure they're gonna do a warning or something like this. I'm sure that's coming out. So if you are like, I just don't like drop point, I want a warning. I suspect they did this large in this one. I mean, the pyrite is just, rocking the boat for CJRB. It's just a big money maker for them. It's doing so, so well. A little oil there. It's doing so well. I suspect they're going to be coming out with a warning version of this at some point. So, But I like the Pyrite. I like it a lot. 
And this is still so cost effective, so, so cost effective. I think this is a great consideration for a knife. I think if you haven't had a chance to check this out, you really ought to. All right, so it's G10 steel liners. Let's look at this. Uh, and I think it says right there, yeah, uh, ARRP, ARRP M9 blade steel, full flat grind. Let's see, can we do the middle finger flick? Ah, it's a little tight in there. Yeah, it's, it's a strong plunge lock. I will tell you, for a large blade, you're going to need that. I'm sure after a while I'll do it, but I can tell you the thumb studs work really nicely. I don't really have the middle finger flick deployment. So like on this one, I can easily do the middle finger flick deployment, right? Because it's a smaller blade, it's easier to get access. And it's also coated with, pe you know, and that makes it a little grippier. This is not as coated and... See, can I? Yeah, it's got a little oil on there, and I suspect if I were to wipe that off, let's see the nice dirty cloth here I have. Let's see if we can get some of that off. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we'll try. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see. Okay, not this side, but can I do it left-handed? Oh, I can do it left-handed. Yeah, left-handed for sure. So you know, if you're lefty, works really nice left-handed, by the way. I do like that. All right, let's see. Let's see. Where does it disengage? Okay, so it disengages right there. So can I disengage, squeezing down really hard? I don't know if I can. Some people seem to be able to. See, my hand, it goes right in a crack in the crevice. There, I'm perfectly fine. If I choke up, that button, even if I get in there, I, I just can't do it. I mean, over here, choking up, I can't. So you really have to go out of your way. And if you're doing that really serious types of cuts with a button lock, get a fixed blade. You know, get a frame lock, get a liner lock. Frame lock would be one of the better ones because frame locks, you know, you lock it in, your hand pushes in here, it locks it in place. That's always nice. That's the benefit of a frame lock. Now, that's also the, the frustration of frame lock because lefties and, and being a left hand flick it, your, your hand sometimes rests on the bar. When you have a button lock or a liner lock, it's really nice because it's out of the way and I really do enjoy that. But man, that action is really nice. And I bet it takes some skiff washers. You can feel a little bit of grittiness, but I bet if I took it apart and cleaned it, you can see a little bit of dirt in there. I bet that would make the action on this just so much nicer. I mean, this is a budget knife and the price you're paying for this is great. I think you're gonna get a great deal on this. And I don't, I don't think there's any reason to complain. Let's look at these T8s. T8, are they T8s? Wait a second, they almost look like T10s, but I think they're T8s. Let me just double check that because they look larger. So real quick, T10, see that? Okay. Not a, not a T10, okay. All right, so let's do the T8s, T8s. Okay, that's T8, T8, okay. See the pivot, T8. All right, so it's not a captive pivot. So you might need two, two screws. Now, one thing I did get um, I, uh, with skiffs, um, I have a skiff tool that you hold in here and it can hold one of these screws. And so you can hold the knife like this and then screw it like this. I like that a lot. That's a cool little feature I saw. All right, so these are T8s right here. Yep, but I suspect these are gonna be T6s. Yeah. Now, interesting. One of those screws doesn't actually look like it's set in all the way. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's a little loose. You can actually see it. It wasn't it wasn't recessed all the way. Pretty recessed in there. You'll be able to get past that. That's going to be nice. Now it is G10. It's got a little uh, texture, so it will be grippy. So if you're looking for a big knife that doesn't slide out in your pocket, this one will definitely fit the bill, right? It's got that nice texture. It almost reminds me of the Spyderco texture. It's not as aggressive as the Spyderco, but it's pretty pretty texture pretty got some nice feel and grit to it or grip to it if you will so that's nice yeah i like that the drop on here let's see yeah now this is going to break in a little bit definitely a big knife so yeah i'll definitely want to check out the washers on that but uh might take this apart and clean it just because i can feel it and i can see some dirt in there i don't know if you can see that you can see little pieces of stuff in there uh but that could be other stuff in there. You know, a, a budget knife and a manufacturer where they're trying to cut costs, you're going to have to, you're not going to, you know, there's some things that you are willing to cut costs on that aren't as important, right? So sometimes you might have a little extra dust, a little other things in there, things that you wouldn't do with a higher end sort of knife. Now it's got two standoffs, really nice. Uh, it's got a um, 
blade pin stop right here, which is nice. So when you flick it open, you can see it, the blade stops right there. It is button lock. The button lock is pretty nice. It's not sticky. No, it was, I think, a little sticky at first. I think that's going away really quick, and I haven't even done anything yet. I have some powder that I used on my winter blade factor that I might put inside the button lock when I take it apart. That should really make it nice and smooth. And then we might clean out the, the washers in here and then oil them just a little bit. That'll be nice. Nice edge. Let's see, how's that? Oh, that's a nice sharp edge. Let's see, how well did they grind that? So that looks pretty good on this side. All right, they did roll it a little bit. You can see it flattened out a little bit there. That happens sometimes. I mean, it's a budget knife, so you can reprofile that edge if, if that really bothers you. If Now, the thing is, this is probably going to be part of a giveaway. So I don't know if this is going to be a regular Monday night giveaway or if this is going to be part of the big 3K giveaway when we get closer to that. I wanted to start building up for that because that's a big deal. Uh, I'm already at like 2,300 subscribers. Thank you guys. Um, so we're I think we're getting close to being a third way there, which kind of blows me away. It's almost been just a little over a month since we were at 2K. So, you know, it's moving along and the channel's growing thanks to you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, allowing this channel to grow, and allowing me to enjoy my hobby as I share it with you, because you know what? I like knives. I really do. I, I do this just because I like knives, and it's a lot of fun being able to share this with you guys and talk about knives. And you know, I, I don't do, you know, I, I like some of the nicer knives. There's, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do. I like some of these nicer knives. This is definitely a nicer knife. It's not super cheap. This is a nicer knife. You know, as far as pyrites go, this is the high-end version of a pyrite. It's like an artisan, artisan cutlery version of a pyrite, right? But when they do really good budget knives, this is outstanding. Now, I had had another one. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I, the, the other knife that I bought was the Civivi Quibit. And I have another unboxing that you probably may have already seen for this one. If you're not, check it out. But this is such a nice little one. Now, this is smaller, obviously. And you can see that. Definitely different sizes. One's going to be more discreet, smaller, EDC. Aluminum scales, very light. This is steel scales, much bigger. So if you're looking, you're looking for button lock and you want something bigger, this might be a contender. You might want to look at this, this large felspar. It's great size. I really do like that. Rounded all the way around, no sharp edges. It's all rounded on top, so I'm not going to get any cuts anywhere. And that to me is important because I've seen some really nice knives where they didn't chamfer edges and they just dug into you. And to me, it's like, why? Why would you spend all that time and quality control on doing so many nice things and you miss a key point that's going to cut into somebody? And there's one where, I mean, it was going to cut my finger. I just, I couldn't do it because it's just too sharp. Now, if I was going to keep it and I bought it, uh, yeah, I might have chamfered it or buffed it out with a belt sander or something like that. I did that on my uh, Chavez Redention 229 kickstop. Love that knife, but it had sharp corners. And I buffed those out and I had another corners here. I buffed those out, made it really nice. But the clip was just like, it was a pocket shredder. And so I round it and smoothed out the back of it. Now it, it's just amazing. It's sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, you know, like see how this is nice and rounded there? It was pretty square and it was kind of, you know, we'll dig in for a bit. So anyways, this is the CJRB Large Pyrite. I am very impressed with it. I really, really, really like this. And I think it's something maybe worth considering, especially if you're looking for a larger knife. If you need something a little bit bigger, I think you're gonna like this. Let's see, how, how does it lock in? It's in there pretty good. Kind of like there's no rock there. Oops, now it's a bigger blade. You gotta make sure you get your hand under there and, and get it going, deploy it. Because bigger blade means more weight on that blade, right? Now the plunge is pretty good. Let's see, how well does that engage on the knife? Uh, trying to see how well does that engage. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay there. Let's see when it locks. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so we're a good 50% on the lock, which is nice. Yeah, it's in there really good. Now, as far as it is not super thin, but it's thin. It's not It's not a big, thick boy, right? It's not a big, giant blade. You know, it's not like, I, I, did, a, I did an unboxing on Heretic Wraith. Uh, I wanted to love that knife. It's a beautiful knife, just gorgeous. But it, it just, just, that one just missed the mark. And I hope it was just that one. I hope it was a one-off. I hope all the other ones are perfect. I do know one other guy posted that he had some issues with his. So maybe it's just one or two and the rest of them are perfect. That would be my hope because I really like that knife and I really want people to enjoy it because it was a gorgeous knife. But 
you know, if you're going to do something, you got to do it well. And these guys seem to do it really well. A nice, large knife, comfortable, easy to carry, grip, choke up. Let's see. Yep, you can choke up. Now, I wouldn't choke up just like that because that will cut into you. See that right there? But you can choke up with the knuckle for sure. You can bring this other knuckle over here for a precision cut, right? I do like that. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely for larger hands and or if you just like larger knives, you will enjoy this for sure. It, it is almost a little too big for convenient EDC carry. I like this size right here. Now I do have a, a felspar and I'll, I'll go get it. Yeah, let's just compare it. I have a large felspar that I really like and it's got the M390 blade steel and it's a, it's a, a red fat carbon and titanium backspacer. So it's, a, you know, it's a fancy version. It's a White Mountain Knives exclusive. I do like this one a lot, but let's look at that size. They are comparable, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty close. Let's look at the blade size. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Now, this is gonna be a lot cheaper than this. I mean, red fat carbon, titanium, it's milled, you can see that, so that's nice. Got a milled pocket clip. Obviously, it's frame lock with a steel bar insert. It works really nice. I put skiff washers in it, the action's pretty good. Flips out really nicely, flips out like that really nicely, and I think, yeah, I can middle finger flick this one as well. Can I do the back? Uh, yeah, I don't think, I, I was having a hard time doing the back, yeah. But I can do it on this side like this. That That's not a problem. But I like this knife. But for me, because it chokes up like a skinny here, I get good grip and it's very comfortable for me. It's not as wide. This one's a little wider, right? And it's a little thicker. So, I mean, it's nice, but it's a big knife for, for that. And But big hands, I think you're gonna really like this. I think it's something worth considering. Uh, they still have these exclusive. I really, if you like this, I like the felspar a lot. This is almost like a straight back, but it is a drop point, but it almost looks like a straight back. I like this knife. This works for me because of that right there. Nice cutout to get into the line, nice chamfering. So, you know, that works for me for that grip. That feels a little more natural, I think. Now this, I gotta tell you, for a big knife, it's really great. However, it's a big knife, but I know a lot of you guys want bigger knives. And, and I gotta tell you, either you like bigger knives, you need a bigger knife for some big tasks, this is great. If you like bigger knives, then this is it. If you just don't want a small knife because you got big hands, you really ought to maybe consider this. I think I think it's it's definitely worth considering. This is just an unboxing first impression, mind you, okay? Stone washed here, stone washed blade over here. Um, I think you can get a titanium clip, matter of fact, for this. Oh, and it looks like that. Yeah, it's not it's not in it's not um, cut out and it, you know inlay inside the uh, insert, if you will, inside the, the G10 scale. So it's easy to reverse flick it. So I mean reverse it. So it's lefty and righty compatible. So lefties, you can bring your clip over here and hold it and all that good stuff. So which makes sense for a button lock. I think that's really smart. So lefty rejoice. It is lefty compatible. That's nice. Um, I love the big thumb studs. Yeah, the very similar thumb studs like this one right here. You can see it's about the same size, which are much larger than the small pyrite. You can see that. See how they're smaller here, which is nice. I like this size. Now, this for some people this is way too small. And this is just, you know, it is, this is not huge for me, but it's right at the size that's comfortable for the smallest. Any smaller, it'd probably be too small, right? Um, now, this one is a little smaller when you see it. It is smaller here, it's almost over the edge, but that choke up finger is perfect. It, this is a Ferrum Forge, they always make it for that finger choil, and so that makes it really, really nice. And of course, button lock, nice titanium 20 CV blade steel, which is always nice. But, different prices. For the price of this, you can get three, maybe four of these, right? So if you're looking for a, you know, a knife that you can use and abuse, not worry if you lose, definitely consider this one, okay? Definitely consider this, all right. So there you go. Um, all right, I'm back. Sorry, I had a phone call. So anyways, um, yeah, um, I definitely think this is something worth considering, something to look at for your collection. Again, this is just an unboxing, initial impression. We'll do a review. I might even take it apart, clean it a little bit. We'll do, look at that, see what size skiffs fit in there, what size washers they are, and if we can replace them, which I'm sure we can. If, if it's similar to this, I bet you they're the same washers as this one here. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess pretty much. Uh, I know this one takes other washers. I can replace these if I wanted to. And I might take this apart too because I have some new washers that I think will work in this that I got in. So anyways, um, yeah, nice, nice knife. So definitely, you know, again, first impression, but we'll have a full review and discuss this a little bit more. Hey, if you have any questions about the knife or about the review, 
coming up. Let me know in the comments down below anything you'd like to see me discuss or anything that you thought that I should maybe talk about in an unboxing. Let me know. I appreciate that. I'm always trying to learn, do new things, right? And, and if you have any questions for me or for the channel, please let me know in the comments. I do try to reply to all of those. And I do so appreciate you guys watching these, these unboxings and reviews. It allows the channel to grow for me to be able to do more things. So thank you so much to you guys. And to all the awesome subscribers, and especially my members out there, big shout out to all you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, and this will probably, like I said, be part of the giveaway on Monday night, if not the big 3K giveaway coming up. Hey, if you found this uh, content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or entertaining, would you please consider liking the video down below? And if you've already liked the video, would you consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps the channel to grow, allows me to produce more content, do more things, get more things out, and do more things for you guys. So I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. And if you've done all that, maybe consider hitting the notification button so you can be notified of future content when it, content drops. And then maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.